News for your happy life. Brought to you by the Spokane County Regional Solid Waste System. It is quarter till seven, and all this month, KXLY4 News is helping you lead a happy, healthy life with tips for spring cleaning. When you have gathered all of those old products that are labeled hazardous, dangerous, or have a caution label from your home, you can't just drop them off at a recycling center and call it a day. Yeah, to keep the environment and everyone safe, there's a few things you've got to do. First, KXY4's Caroline Flynn is live at the Spokane Valley Transfer Station today. Some really good information on how to dispose of that hazardous household waste. Absolutely, and this is where all of those materials go. I actually, I thought the room was going to be bigger for some reason. I don't know. But one thing that Deb was just telling me about is they do get calls from time to time with people who find something in their home and they don't know what it is. What do you do? Should you just bring it here and show you guys or, or what? No, at that time we would like uh, for you to call us and, and um, we can help you either figure out if you want to bring it here or if we need to get you in contact with a different resource. Another really important thing, if maybe you're helping out grandma and grandpa, we were laughing about this, and you find something that was maybe from four decades ago, you got to make sure that it's something that can safely rot here. You don't want something punctured or something that could leak, right? What are the things, or I guess the way that it should best come to you guys here? It needs to be in a good container that's not compromised and leaking, so that's an important thing. We also ask you to bring in less than five gallons of any combined HHW at one visit. And you got to be willing to part with that container. That's right. You're not we, bringing it home. We will not give you back your containers. One thing Deb really wanted to touch upon too is syringes. That's a hazardous material that you guys accept here. And people have been bringing those in the wrong way. What's the proper way if you maybe have a diabetic family member to bring those syringes to you guys? Yes, we don't want them in the garbage. That's danger to all of the employees um, and as well as customers. So we would like you, syringes, any kind of sharps to be put in a puncture-proof container. Which what would is be, that? Yeah, that would be like a really thick plastic, like a detergent bottle. Milk jugs are not thick enough or a metal can. Or and even then, soda bottles. I've seen people do that. You said no to that as well. No to soda bottles, something very thick. Um, and please label it as sharps. Yes, we don't want anyone injured here. We want to avoid all of that this season. Thank you so much for all of this vital information. So important, learning so much this morning. Live at the transfer station in Spokane Valley, Caroline Flynn, KXLY4 News.